The world of virtual reality is giving doctors a new pathway to cure patients. In the past, some of these patients had no hope for a safe treatment with traditional surgery. And tonight's Spotlight, Meg Ferris shows us how a North Shore deputy was cured of his serious condition because his team of surgeons used new technology that's now in Southeast Louisiana. For 31 years, Alan Williams has lived a life of service in law enforcement, but only in his mid-50s, he ended his career as a lieutenant with the St. Tammany Sheriff's Office. I uh, gave him my two-week notice. They were shocked. I was shocked. Uh, and, uh, you know, people I've worked with so for decades. It all started one day when he was moving some boxes in his attic at his home in Bush and felt his back crack. I uh, started having uh, numbness and tingling going down my lower back into my legs, and uh, I found that I uh, couldn't use the bathroom. At the ER, the doctor had devastating news. What I was thinking may have been just a pulled muscle or a disc issue turned into a nightmare. He and his wife got the diagnosis, chordoma, a rare bone tumor at the base of his spine. So that gave us a few minutes to kind of go through his range of emotions of depression, uh, shock, fear. Well, normally I wouldn't even take this surgery on without the technology. But Oxner neurosurgeon Dr. James Kalivas was able to give Alan hope where normally surgery would have been extremely risky. The tumor was dangerously close to and entangled through so many vital nerves, vessels, and organs. And as it grows, it would have destroyed everything in its path. I knew that we could safely treat this surgically, but I also knew that I would need help, not only with technology, but with my colleagues. That new technology involves virtual reality goggles, a team of physicians from different specialties, 3D printed models of Allen's anatomy that can be moved and manipulated, adding and subtracting organs, computer navigation, robotics, and augmented reality. The surgeon's wearing goggles, and they can see the anatomy from the CAT scan on the patient, superimposed on the patient. So now we don't need to look at screens to point at things. We can look at the patient and it's almost like x-ray vision inside their body to know exactly where we're going. This is all made possible by the Oxner Biodesign Lab and its new Bollinger Advanced Spine Center. Whether you're trying to correct a, a anomaly in a baby heart or you know transplant a, a piece of liver or resect a tumor in the spine, being able to and interact with uh, something in three dimensions is, is just much more intuitive. The surgical team could now make a safe plan of action. Allen was in surgery for six hours, and a tumor that would have eventually taken his life is gone with no damage to vital anatomy. We think we went for cure here, and we think we achieved that. Now we're following Mr. Williams. We want to make sure that there's no possibility of recurrence. Alan's now healed and well, but it's too risky to go back into the physical and unpredictable world of law enforcement. I'd love to go back, but uh, I don't have uh, I don't have the tailbone for it. <laughs> That's because doctors had to remove part of that bone at the base of the spine, and a fall could be dangerous. But he has new clarity on life. You look at everything from a different perspective now. Uh, you appreciate the little things, right? And, uh, you know, my friends, my family, I make sure I tell them I love them. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. Insurance does not cover the making and use of those models, but Auctioner provides them to patients and doctors free.